Hi everyone and welcome to this collaboration with the Gaming Scotsman where we'll compare x 11 to PTFS. Let's get started. This is me in uh, x in the Cessna at St. Bart's. Um, only difference is, you know, in this game it, th there is no St. Bart's Hill, so, you know. Yeah. Currently mm -hmm. watching the stream of Corwin. Nice. But yeah, that was had... nice. That was a nice water. Yeah, no hill it makes it easier, obviously. Not a bit but... for the video, but other than the uh, runway, they've actually perf in Model Saint Bart's. My video idea. Uh, I'm way too close to the hill. <laughs> Am I going to touch it? Never mind. I'm good. Okay, watch this. This is your captain speaking. You, you, you've just made the landing gear go inside of the inside the aircraft. I think. <laughs> yes, I, that was quite hard, actually. No. So it's basically okay. easier in uh, X Wing Eleven because there's no hill. Uh, I mean, so... I don't, I don't want to be this guy, but I feel like it's to be honest a tie. Yeah, I guess. But I feel like we'll give PTFS the point because you know they modeled the hill and stuff. Yeah. For the game, PTFS does deserve. I, I cannot. Mark, um, does deserve a point. Okay, so now we are at Paphos in a F4 Phantom. Is that as you can see, the cockpit is already quite different, and the livery is from PTFS. You do find yeah. the same instruments, but of course, uh, not interactive, and the cockpit does seem quite different. To be honest, uh, I wouldn't recognize this plane. This is the F4 Phantom. It's a, It looks different from PTFS, of course. It's the uh, Navy. But uh, it does look quite good. What is that, though? <laughs> uh, I, I forgot to release the brakes when I uh, went full afterburner. <laughs> okay. Interesting. That's not in PTFS for sure. So. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so as you can see, see kind of... yeah, it's quite different. The livery is definitely different. In PTFS, it's actually green. And... Which is the um, uh, F4. Here yeah. we go, we're taking off now. Afterburners looks nice. Yeah, the vapor is kind of, I don't know. I guess it's more realistic. I guess PTFS doesn't have it, but um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it has some uh, missiles as well under. Yeah, these work, by the way. These can blow- Oh, yeah. These can blow up planes. I I, I so. would personally give uh, for the aircraft, I think, uh, definitely for x Wing 11 there. <laughs> and what is that? <laughs> okay, that was weird. I'd say x plane amount of aircraft without mods is gotta go to PFS for the amount of aircraft, but with mods, there's unlimited possibilities, really, um, of realistic aircraft. There's pretty much every- real aircraft out there. Well, I must um, say as well, uh, you got a change outfit, which is probably not a point for PTFS here. Because the change outfit doesn't exist in uh, x 11, you'd only have a random thought that you cannot change. However, here you can change your hair, hat, and... Mm -hmm. But bear in mind, it doesn't have like certain characters, it does just have three aircraft certain characters. So, crash physics, uh, as you can imagine, and you probably already know, the crash physics in PTFS simply do not exist, uh, apart from the fact that you disappear when entering water, but <laughs> really, when you hit the ground, you simply kind of go, either Whoa. go into it or bounce on it, and that's obviously not very realistic. It is true that the MD-11... Um, MD-90. MD-80. MD-90. Yeah. Sorry, not MD-11. Uh, American Airlines, every. It's not shiny. It's just, like, gray. Yeah. There, there we go. It got fire. Um, I, I mean, fuselage. Um, getting ripped off. And that's quite realistic to compare to PTFS, at least. Look, you can see how the aircraft breaks up. Yeah. It kind of goes into the runway, but let's not mind that. <laughs> But you can see how, you know, the, the tails come off. Yeah. And it is the accurate actual livery, it isn't just like a plain just thing. But one of the details is, if I open the door, 
a full interior and opening doors. Yes. PTFS uh, can't open doors, you just go through them. Which is kind of sad, because it would be quite easy to simply just, when you click on the door, make it go transparent and invisible. And like, you know, just things like that, that can just add a bit of realism. Alright, so I just want to show, before we shut down Luke Law, uh, before we end the video, and basically our conclusion. I think, I don't know if Firms agrees, me on this, agrees with me on this, but I personally think that PTFS... Is a good flight simulator if you don't have a good PC or money. And for um, Roblox as well, definitely. Yeah. I mean, we can also compare Flightline, but... And I think PTFS is quite fun. <laughs> you just open the door mid <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's uh, interesting. That's I can it. see I'm getting terrain warnings. Yeah. <laughs> you can open, open the doors. I'm a bit, I need a bit of air. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. various multiplayer, but I think uh, PTFS is a great way to chill out and play your friends uh, on Discord uh, and Roblox. You know, it's quite a uh, easy. Well, I think there is multiplayer. I can't confirm, but um, yeah, I've seen videos of it. Mm. But yeah, I think if you have the money. I'd suggest X-Plane, but I can say, personally, I play both, and they're good, uh, but if you're a hardcore flight simulator, PFS is not for you, it's it's more of a messing around game. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, I think we're kind of ending off here with that conclusion, but uh, if you want us to, do, if you like this, uh, comment and subscribe um, to me and Firmus. Looking at you, um, and if you want to see more X Plane versus Roblox uh, videos, leave them in the comments. Yeah, uh, I see. Crash into the mountain to conclude.